Okay, hello all. Okay, today we're going to talk about a horror movie called, I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen this. Today I want to talk about The Descent. So this is why I'm going to talk about The Descent. We'll get to that later. Okay, so The Descent, I just pulled the um, slipcase thingy out. Know. Directed by Neil Marshall. Um, I'm not going to go into the actresses' names. Um, just because, let's just get straight to the review. There's like um, these six women who do these, um, who get together every year and do these um, different types of sports things. The movie opens with them um, like kayaking or doing, it's not only kayaking, but because there's rapids, it's like a sport, whatever. Any one of the women, I don't remember her name. Oh. And one of the women, um, when they leave, um, ne- Nemo is one of the women, the Asian-looking woman, and it kind of hints that she's having an affair with um, the main characters, that woman's boyfriend or husband. But anyway, that woman gets into a car with her husband and her little girl, and they leave, they're going to go home. And they're talking about little girl's birthdays coming up, and you're gonna invite any boys, blah blah blah, stuff like that. And a tragic car accident happens, and the woman loses her husband and daughter. And the movie then switches forward to a year later, when it's time for the six women to reunite for their yearly sports thing, their event. So now in this year. Ne- uh, see, Nemo decided they're gonna go um, splunking, cave diving. And she had like a map, and they're like in America. This, this is a British film, by the way. Um, they're in America, and um, I think it was like in Tennessee or Vermont or something like that. I don't remember where it actually took place. To be honest, I shouldn't be reviewing this because I haven't watched it in a while. But I want to talk about Neil Marshall, so we'll get to that. So, yeah, so. Um, they get to the place and um, they go down and um, cave ins. They get trapped down in there. This actually would have been a really good movie. It was actually pretty suspenseful. And it could have been a good like adventure film about how the girls are going to get you know, out of the cave. You know, how, how are they going to survive and, and you know, just leave, get out and stop. It, that itself was a good premise. Because there was um there was a lot of suspense in some of those scenes and stuff, but of course you know after a while when they're trapped down there and one of the girls uh, one of the girls gets injured, and then these monsters show up, and they're cannibalistic and boom, it's now their fodder their prey. So yeah, good movie. Um, I remember reading about this film like a long time ago and, and there was so much hype about it because of Neil Marshall who had directed Dog Soldiers, which I really liked. And so I was like, I had heard about this film for a long time before I actually got to see it. And I was like, I finally did see it and I thought, oh, the hype was so good. It's a good movie. You know, the special effects were good. And you know, you know, it got pretty gory and stuff. And you know, the ending, the ending is a little hit or miss, depending on which ending you see. And um, apparently, there was like an American version of the ending, and like an English version of the ending. Like if you saw the movie like in London or some shit, you saw, you know, one ending. And if you saw it in the states, like this has the ending where um, spoiler alert. I'll give you a thumbs up and spoilers down if you haven't seen the film. Uh, this this version has um, what I'm assuming is the American ending, which has um, the main character Sarah, I believe her name is, um, seeing her child and her birthday cake, the child's birthday cake, and she's obviously hallucinating because of all the trauma she's been through, and um, so basically she's just sitting there smiling at her child who isn't there and then you hear the creepers come and the movie ends no wait a click um no she actually gets out of the cave 
Hmm, maybe I did see both endings. If anyone knows the difference between two endings, let me know. Because now that I'm thinking about it... Hmm, I must have seen both endings. Damn. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to pick up another Neil Marshall film. I am actually getting his first film, Dog Soldiers. I ordered it in a steelbook. It's going to be my first steelbook. When I get that in the mail, I'm totally going to review that one. I haven't seen that one in a while. And I don't even, I'm not even sure exactly what a steelbook is. Is it like, just like something like this? Only like made of like metal pieces or tin pieces? I have no idea what a steelbook is. But anyways, you haven't seen The Descent, check it out. Good horror film. Uh, Neil Marshall's second film. When I get Dog Soldiers, I'll be talking about that one. And, um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, he did make a third movie after this called uh, Doomsday, which is like a post apocalyptic action movie, more than a horror film. But since I own The Descent and I'm getting Dog Soldiers, maybe I'll get it just to have all his films. I'm going to have to go on to the uh, IMDB and look him up and see if he's going to make it, you know, if, if he's got any other, you know, stuff going, any new movies coming out or whatever. Because, um, yeah, Neil Marshall, I'm liking. I uh, haven't heard nothing since he's done Doomsday. So if anyone knows anything about that, let me know. But anyways, um, boom, I'm getting Dog Soldiers and I have the scent, so at the very least I'll have his two, excuse me, his two hella cool horror films. Woohoo! And Dog Soldiers, like I said, I'm getting in a steelbook. So I'll finally figure out what a steelbook actually is. <laughs> Alright, people, thanks for watching, and you guys take care.